everyone and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be just a couple days of vlogging. I actually have the next few days off work which is so nice because tomorrow is Matt's birthday. So Monday's my day off anyway and today is Monday. Tomorrow is his birthday. I literally got up at 6am this morning and I feel like I've not really achieved that much for being up so early. I've done a couple washes, I've edited a couple of videos. America videos are still underway. There is so, so much to get through. Um, I have literally just started Coachella so hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get that to you guys shortly. When I say shortly it'll be like a few weeks so I do apologise on the delay of all of the American vlogs but honestly my life has been a thousand miles per hour recently it's honestly been crazy there's not really too much to update you on um I think I sort of did that in the last vlog about like the wedding party and stuff so we literally have three weeks and five days until the wedding party which is crazy we still have a few things left to do i need to do an order of the evening so everyone knows what time things are happening i need to do a little menu card for the table i need to do name tags i need to find a singer uh the list goes on and on and on and on so word of advice don't plan a wedding party or a wedding of any sort in less than three months because you will have a mental breakdown. So, word of advice from me, just don't do it. It's been fun, but it's also been a lot. Like, we've been away quite a lot as well, which doesn't help. So, when we're away on holiday and stuff, like, the last thing I wanna do is try and plan a wedding party. So, yeah, it's, it's, it is self-inflicted. We booked the date and we knew how long we had. So, completely our fault, not blaming anyone other than myself, but, that is what's been going on really recently. All of Matt's presents are arriving in the post, hopefully today. Um, his birthday always creeps up on me. I feel like because it's the 11th of July, I feel like when it then hits the 1st of July, I'm like, I've got ages. And then all of a sudden it's his birthday. So I ordered them super last minute. I got him some Adidas Sambas because he's just in need of a new pair of trainers. And I literally live in mine. Like they honestly do not come off my feet. I think if you follow me over on Instagram, you're probably bored of seeing those trainers on my feet. And then he really likes the brand Cole Buxton. So I got him a couple of t-shirts, a pair of shorts and a hat from there. And then I've literally just like polished the bedside tables. And his Jo Malone aftershave has run super low. So I think whilst I'm in the city today, I might treat him to one of those as well. Just a new one because he wears it all the time and it does smell divine. So that's today. I also have an appointment later at 7pm. And I don't think I've really spoken about this sort of thing on my YouTube channel. I've had lots of questions and I've not try to avoid them like I'm very open and honest about what I have done I'm just having my Botox topped up so the wrinkles are gonna be gone and then I normally just say to her like if you want to do anything else then be my guest I've previously had quite a lot Um, I've had jaw filler, chin filler, nose filler and lip filler Um, that was all probably about I think the most recent filler I've had was jaw filler, which was like maybe a year and a half ago. And then I've not had my lips done in honestly like two, three years maybe. Um, and my nose as well, I just had a little bit of filler in here just to smooth out the little bump that I've got. I had that done. I think I've had that done once or twice maybe, but then I went to a different lady and she said it's the most dangerous place on your face to fill. So that freaked me out and I would probably never have it done ever again because I don't know the science behind it, but I think there's an artery somewhere that can make you blind. So um, I think I prefer to just have a little bump on my nose rather than going blind. So that'll be a no from me. I honestly think chin filler out of all of the fillers that I've ever had is my favourite because I look back on pictures and it's lasted so well like I can still feel that I have a little bit in there and I've honestly not had it done for like I'd say a good three years. I think it was literally just after Covid. 
yeah it's lasted so well and i just feel like it really makes your face look like chiseled um jaw filler probably wasn't my favorite just because it hurts so bad um i can't say that i'm probably a very good judge of that because i am a little bit of a pansy when it comes to pain so i know i've had a lot of questions on it so hopefully that has answered everything that's what i've had done previously today i've booked in just to have my botox top up um i started having botox probably about a year ago maybe this will be the fourth time i've had it so it really really does last um i just like how smooth it makes your skin look and i think when i talk i'm quite expressive so like before i had botox i'd constantly have like a wrinkled forehead like this is pretty wrinkly for me um it's nice when they all go and it just smooths the skin so i have botox in my forehead i've had it in between my eyebrows before just because when i frown you can see i've got a little bit of a frown line here and then i've also had it on top of my lip before which is called a lip flip um just because i didn't want to have lip filler again because i've had um trouble with it in the past it just goes lumpy i feel like my lips just don't like being filled so i kind of just wanted them to look a little bit more plump and the lady i go to recommended having a lip flip so i have had that before it was a bit weird i can't lie it's just because obviously with botox it freezes the muscle so you can imagine like the top of your lip is just like frozen like kind of doesn't move and like to do that it felt weird like to do just try and move the top of your lip it just felt very bizarre so i would probably not have that again either but that's the nice thing about botox it just wears off so if there's something that you don't like give it a couple of months and it will all be gone so yeah i'm actually going with my mum me and my mum always go together it's quite funny i think most parents would be like telling their daughter not to do it but mum is all in she literally doesn't care what i do to my face i think she knows that i wouldn't do anything that looks crazy and i would always just try and better myself rather than make myself look i don't know like a different way i don't want to ever look different i just want to enhance what i've already got so that is my plan for today tomorrow um i think i'm gonna get some bits for like a picnic style breakfast because the weather is glorious at the moment it's so so nice so i'm gonna get some bits for like a picnic breakfast for me and matt and then his new hobby if anyone can relate to this if any of your boyfriends or partners get a hobby a new hobby and then they are just like obsessed with it for like a few months and then they buy all the stuff buy all the equipment and then they never do it ever again um comment down below and let me know because that is literally matt so his new found favorite at the moment is fishing he's just spent an absolute fortune on like a fishing chair fishing rods like the whole lot so because this is birthday i'm gonna be nice and i there's a wasp coming in my window he's gone i am gonna sit with him fishing but that's where the picnic comes in because I will be picnicking and he will be fishing and we can take the dogs and stuff so that would be really cute and then I am booking a meal surprise for tomorrow evening I'm honestly so last minute I never used to be like this and I feel like my life at the minute is just taken over me there's not enough hours in the day I mean I could go on for a long time but I'm gonna book a meal for Matt tomorrow evening so he doesn't know about it just a couple of our really close friends just to go out for some yummy food but with that being said this clip is now 11 minutes long so i said i didn't have to catch you up on a lot but apparently i do i will just show you one thing that i'm actually obsessed with so bear with me they are obviously a copy of a very very well-known brand that we all know and love and these are literally from ego so i've seen so many people talk about these on instagram um so i thought i'm gonna have to pick them up for myself they were literally 25 pounds so i got this color and then i also got the black ones as well because i just thought they're timeless um so i will remember to link these down below because obviously if you want to save yourself some pennies then this is the way forward and i tried them on last night they got delivered yesterday and i cannot tell you how comfy they are they literally feel like you're wearing slippers for outdoors it's bloody great i think i'm actually gonna break them in today because i want to wear them for 
Lisbon when we go. And also, excuse my toes, I need a pedicure. But who's got time for that when you're trying to run a business, a social media, plan the wedding, have a social life? The list goes on. I'm not I'm moaning about my life at all. I know I have it. Very nice. I always feel very grateful for my life, but sometimes life just gets ahead of you and it just feels like life is just soaking you up. But less of the negativity and more of the positivity. I'm going to go and pop to the city now. I need to go to the post office as well. So I might actually leave you guys here. No doubt I will pick something up whilst I'm shopping because you girls got a problem but yeah i'll probably pick you guys back up when i get home and then we can go from there so i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later hello everyone it is a little bit later now i actually got back from the city about three hours ago and i've just been sat trying to figure some more stuff out for the wedding party because it is fast fast approaching so i'm just trying to get a singer or someone that can entertain our guests just whilst we're out having our pictures done i think I found a few people that are available so it's just finding what style we want to go for and I quickly ran around the house and done some housework hence why my hair is up in a claw clip because it's about a million degrees up here it's so hot but shopping was successful to say the least I will show you what I got I will start off with the boring bits from Boots shower gel a massive hairspray because this is the best thing in the world. Holds your curls all day. I got some exfoliant and gloves because this tan is going to have to be scrubbed off before we go to Lisbon, which is on Saturday. So I'm just buying some bits for that, um, for that little trip that we've got. So get myself prepared. I popped into Urban Outfitters because we finally have one in Norwich. If anyone is from Norwich or knows Norwich, our shopping isn't the best. It was the first time going in today. It's not been open very long. And it was just nice to walk around a shop that's not H&M or Zara, to be honest. So I picked up this little linen maxi skirt. Um, and it's just like low rise. And it's really, really soft material. A little bit see-through, but nothing a nude pant can't fix. And this was... I will try and remember to link all of these bits down below. I do normally remember, but sometimes I forget some. So... If there's nothing linked that I've spoken about, then comment down below and I will get the links for you. This was £49, and I do find Urban a little bit more on the expensive side, but I think the quality is definitely there, so I picked up that. And then, this is going to be quite hard to show, but it's just like a little maxi dress, again, goes all the way down. It's quite tight, it was giving me like Skims vibes. But the back of it sort of twists at the back, so it's kind of a little bit lower at the back and it twists. And this is just in like the nicest, softest material, um, so it's just going to be super comfy for like walking around or even in the evening. And this was £42, and that is everything I picked up from Urban Outfitters. I then picked up Matt a card that says, Happy birthday to my husband. I love you even though you trump those. <laughs> I was like, any card that says husband on it is coming home with me. So I need to write in that. His present is also here in the Jo Malone packet. I can't remember what one I got him. He's already got an aftershave from Jo Malone. Couldn't tell you what I got him, but it was like a sweeter version of the one he's already got. Because the one I got him, I got him at Christmas time. And it's kind of musky. It's, it's really nice. I just thought it'd be nice for him to have more of a summer scent so they didn't have anything in the 100 ml bottles so i just got a little 50 ml bottle in the hope that he likes it so i then popped to zara and my sister's ringing me hello she just rang me and told me that she was having a wee on the toilet and florence walked through and went mommy wee wee and like she shouldn't be at the age where she's saying more than a couple of words the kid is a genius but back to my zara haul i just popped in to have a quick look round. i was only going to look at their new in stuff but then the sales stuff actually looked fairly organized so i did have a little rummage through the black dresses and i'll probably stand up to show you this because it's not going to be really difficult it's basically just like a ruffle dress and i cannot tell you the weight of this it's actually 
crazy it also didn't have a tag on it it's literally just got this so i will try and link it down below i got it in a size small and i can actually tell you the tag of it it was 25.99 couldn't tell you how much it was originally because obviously it's got no tag in it but i will try and find it online last up i popped into h&m and got me a hat for said holiday although how annoying are these to pack I mean, it's definitely just going to get ruined. This was $14.99 and we've got a cloth of on, so you won't get the dress. But just thought it was a nice colour and it'll go with lots of outfits. Thought it would also be really cute for Harry Styles night. So somehow I'm going to have to transport this from the UK to Lisbon with just 10 kg hand luggage. So maybe I'll have to wear this in the airport and look really bougie again their sales stuff was like laid out quite nicely i think they've just added some more things in so i picked up one of these little scarves and it was three pounds and i really like wearing these around my neck as like a little choker or tied to a bag on like a beach holiday so i picked that one up i got some shoes and i actually had bought these before um for a wedding i went to a few weeks ago and then i didn't wear them so i took them back and then i then saw they were in the sale for five pounds so I picked them back up again because I thought you can't go wrong for five pounds. I did like them. I just didn't end up wearing them with the outfit that I initially thought I was going to wear them with. So I just thought, oh, do you know what? There's no point in keeping loads of stuff. So I returned them and now I have them for five pounds. So when I tried them on previously, they are super comfortable. I think like the heel height isn't that high um, and they're just really comfy. This is like a sling back. So yeah picked up those have no idea when i'm going to wear them or what i'm going to wear them with but i'm sure we'll find a use for it somewhere and then i picked up one of these little flower chokers because these are my favorites and this was 6.99 i feel like you can wear the most basic outfit ever and just elevate it with a little choker or a flower around your neck or just lots of jewelry so that is the last thing i picked up for myself and then matt actually has this in the short sleeve version um, and wears it all the time on holiday so I just picked him up in the long sleeve because again it was in the sale for £12 and then I popped to H&M home lots of sale shopping unintentionally today um, and I just got this vase which is in the sale for £7 and I don't know if you can see the one over here I think it's literally hiding behind my bottle um, but I've got the tall version of it so I thought this would be a cute little addition to go next to it and that is everything i picked up from my shopping trip i also went in to space nk because i think at the moment they have a 20 percent discount running um because i really want to get the drunk elephant tannin drops but you can't get them for love nor money at the moment so that was a no i also tried some of the rose ink I don't know what it's called it's like their serum foundation and in the bottle it's got like loads of little balls like balls of foundation like in it if you know what i'm talking about you'll know what i'm talking about um i just tried it on my hand and it did feel really nice i think it was not any better than what i already use i don't know it's hard to say without trying it but i have also tanned recently so i didn't want to then get a foundation that was then not going to match when i'm not tanned so yeah, this tan was actually gifted to me really kindly from Isle of Paradise and it is the 30 minute express tan and I won't lie, I put it on, had all good intentions of washing it off in 30 minutes because it was dark and left it on for three by accident because I then popped out for longer than I thought I was going to pop out for. Washed it off and before I got in the shower, my skin looked grubby it was awful i was like this is gonna wash off horribly it's gonna look hideous um you know like when you fake tan in the evening then you wake up in the morning and your skin is like patchy um and then i washed it off and i gave myself a good scrub in the shower because i was worried i was gonna be really patchy when i washed it off and this is not what we're left with i think it looks relatively natural i think i'm a little bit more tan than i am normally but yeah it's nice to have a glow i'm trying to lay off the sunbeds at the moment i just feel like i get myself in such a rut with using them and obviously they are 
not good for your skin at all i actually haven't had one now since before in america so that is a world record for me i just love being tanned and i'm a lazy gal and cannot be bothered to fake tan and scrub it off religiously like hats off to people that do that i just have not got the man hours to put myself through it it's hard enough washing my hair to be honest but i am actually gonna escape out of these four walls at some point in this vlog and i've literally just been sat here chatting to you for the whole of this vlog so far i will bring you guys along on my botox appointment i don't know how much i'm gonna film in there but i'll obviously i'll catch up with you after and let you know what i've actually had done good morning vlog i am so sorry that i didn't actually update you at all yesterday i completely forgot my camera to the appointment but the appointment went smoothly and i just had some botox on my forehead and then around my eyes as well because i was getting little crow's feet and you know like the little wrinkles i call them laughter lines but we'll go with crow's feet because that's the scientific term and it was completely fine like totally pain free and that is all she said i needed so i mean i'm taking that as a compliment um at the minute i can still um move my forehead but it will work really really soon but today is matt's birthday and mm -hmm. we have literally just chilled in bed all morning and he opened his presents and stuff facetimed some of our friends and family which was lovely and we are now going fishing and for a picnic so i will catch up with you when we are there these two are eager to go and have a little run somewhere as well so i'll catch up with you when we're there later i've been so bad with this camera this vlog um i just keep forgetting i'm actually supposed to be vlogging but i will show you my outfit properly when we get there um but yeah i'm just excited for some food we decided to have a little nap instead of actually celebrate matt's birthday so we both had <laughs> an old. hour each we are getting old and then the, the zara order man woke me up knocking on the door but I will catch up with you when we get to the pigs because Matt's car is far too loud for you to even hear anything I'm saying. I saw the Yorkshire put it out and we were like, yeah, on a Tuesday night, but I mean, we're not going to cook a roast at home, are we, on Tuesday? So, and I'll buy myself for a month, so Georgia said, shall we? And I said, go on then, and then go on then.
I thought I would just end the vlog here, but before I do that, I thought I would show you my outfit because I didn't do it whilst we were out, but my little set is from Zara and these are the sandals that I have literally raved about this entire vlog. We had such a chilled evening with the guys at the pigs and the food was unreal. It was so, so good. I felt a bit weird having a roast on a Tuesday, as we said, but it was really, really good and I would recommend. Also, if you are in Norfolk, if you have a Norfolk passport, you get 10% off, which is really, really helpful. But yeah, I am going to round this vlog off here. Um, I think it has been a bit mismatched. I mean, I've not really picked up the camera too much so i do really apologize about that but yeah as always thank you so so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you very very soon in my next video thanks for watching bye guys